Hello, Facebook. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Facebook. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Periscope. Good morning. You're welcome, Shadow X. I'm Periscope. You're welcome. Osalo, you're welcome. Lakisha, you're welcome. Hallelujah. You're welcome. Glory be to God. You're welcome. You're welcome. M Zibo Chubado One. You're welcome. Zero One. You're welcome. Bolaji Martins. You're welcome. Good morning, Lakisha. Good morning. Good morning. Comfort. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ophion. Good morning. Good morning. The Kinesesta. Good morning. Good morning. Greetings. 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 The song I'm listening to is called You Are Great. You Are Great by Steve Crown. Steve Crown, You Are Great. You can download that on iTunes. You Are Great. Good morning, Bolaji Martins. Good morning. Yes, it's great. Lexi Flowers. Oh, glory be to God for last night's service. Somebody's writing on Periscope. Glory be to God indeed. Good morning, Helen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I came out earlier. We have two minutes to greet, to meet and greet, as they say. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Wow, Malaching, Malaka, Malachingandu from Zambia. You're welcome on Periscope. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. God bless Zambia. God bless the USA. God bless England. I see many signing up in London. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Dami Lola, good morning from Atlanta. Glory House, good morning. Glory House, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Brother Dave, good morning. DF67, Daffy Phil joined on Periscope. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day, wherever you're watching. Abiola Kemi, good morning. Abisola Kemi, good morning. Good morning. Increase 777, good morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Tasabola, good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Inspirator 06, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Excited to see what God will say today. Good morning. Joyce from Lagos, Nigeria. Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me clear my voice and clear my throat. Just getting ready. Today is going to be another awesome day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Please, Angel Scholar, good morning. I'm Periscope. Please let your followers know. Good morning. Increase 777. Let your followers know. Fumis, good morning. Let your followers know. Rita Chuka, you're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This uh, lady from Zambia is her first day, first day on Periscope. Let's give her a big God bless you. Those on Periscope, please keep the hearts going. Just tap your screen on the right. Keep it going. It's happening on Facebook. Mike Mayaka, good morning. Let's keep them going. Let's keep them going. Uh, I have a question here. Should unbelievers partake in the communion? I don't think so. If they insist to avoid creating a scene in church, sure. You can lead them privately to through a, a yes. Keep up the stars, keep up the hearts, keep up the thumbs up. And, uh, let's keep them flowing. Let's keep them flowing. Glory be to God. All you have to do is just tap your screen to the right. Rest 2017. Good morning. Hallelujah. You can lead the sinner or the unbeliever 
MJ Lagos, you're welcome. We missed you yest last night. Glory be to God. Trust all is well with you and your family. A non-believer, if he insists, you know, you're going to fight at church because a non-believer wants you to serve them with the communion. You just, you know, oblige them, or explain to them that those who eat it in sin are eating death, basically, as the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11. And then if you, to avoid the fight, let them help themselves. Amen. Maybe out of eating the communion, they will get saved. Nay, I be good morning and get converted. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Today is a beautiful day. This is the day. Let's pray. Father, we give you praise and glory and honor for this beautiful day you've made and given us. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Not only glad, we will rejoice, we will dance, we will celebrate, we will excel, we will prosper, we will shine. Arise and shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. We thank you for your loving kindness and tender mercies, O God. Thank you for your faithfulness. You are good. We declare it. We worship you. You are mighty. You are awesome. You are excellent. You are a fearful God. And we bless your name. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for keeping us. In Jesus' name. And God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Out of Psalm 91, there's a beautiful portion where David prayed, a very, well, God actually made a promise to David. He said, uh, uh, Psalm 91, verse 15, He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. I will deliver him and honor him. I will deliver him and honor him. Mr. Fadi, you're welcome. Houston, Texas, on Facebook. Short caller 49, you're welcome. On Periscope. Put it up for me. Thank you, Bola. It's Psalm 91, verse 15. I will deliver him. I will deliver him. I will deliver him. And today, we're going to focus all of our command the day, command the month, command the year on asking God to deliver us. Deliver us, deliver us. Deliver us from what? The topic and the, the subject of deliverance is a very huge one. Let me get this thing on Periscope a little. Okay, it's a very big topic. It's a huge one. Deliverance is a very wide subject. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a huge area. A lot of us think that deliverance is talking about uh, falling down and rolling on the floor and, uh, you know, spitting. No, no, no. There's all kinds of deliverance. Deliverance is divine intervention. Deliverance occurs... When God stretches out, stretches out, stretches out his mighty hand and pulls somebody out of the counsel of the wicked. Deliverance occurs when God stretches out, stretches out his hands and breaks the plan of the wicked. That is deliverance. Deliverance is when God changes. You're welcome, Funke. You're welcome, Fumike. They're both different. Deliverance occurs when God steps in and breaks the hand of the wicked. Deliverance is divine intervention. <clears throat> divine intervention. That is deliverance. Deliverance is not falling down only, that is deliverance from demonic uh, activity, not just possession. And so deliverance occurs <clears throat> when God steps in and breaks that plan of the wicked one. I'm just getting myself positioned here. Deliverance occurs when God intercepts the evil plan of the wicked and turns it 
into a testimony. When we say, oh God, deliver me. Oh no, I don't want to pray that prayer. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I don't want to, to, to fall down in the church. No, no, no. There's deliverance from poverty. At Fumis from London, you're welcome in Periscope. Please inform your followers, inform your loved ones, let them join us. And please keep the hearts going on Facebook, on Periscope. As God is speaking, keep the hearts going. Trevor06, you're welcome. I see somebody doing that on, 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 uh, on uh, Periscope. Thank you. Inform your followers, inform your loved ones, inform those who love you. Yeah, I see it flowing over there on Periscope. Share the video. We appreciate you. We thank you. Yes, keep the thumbs up on Facebook going. Keep the hearts going. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Deliverance is in many areas. Deliverance from poverty. The reason why I like deliverance Get this now, get ready to shout, is that deliverance is quick, sudden, come on now, quick, sudden, instantly. When God stretches out his hand, when God stretches out his hand, instantly, 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 it's not, there can be instant healing, and there can be healing in, you know, gradual healing and healing through medication, through prayer and all of that. But one of the things that, about deliverance that is amazing is that it's instant. Bam! God sets, steps in because he neither sleeps nor slumbers. He that watches over us. The enemy will be planning and doing their thing. And God will be watching. And then when God speaks like that, suddenly, I pray in the name of Jesus that throughout 2017, throughout this year, for the rest of your life, that God's mighty hand would always mm, bring you out from the plan of the enemy. That God, who knows the end from the beginning, who sees far, will see the plan of hell against us and snatch us out from that plan in the name of Jesus. Shall we make that our first command? Say, in the name of Jesus, I command, I decree, I declare that this year God Almighty will deliver me from every plan of hell in the name of Jesus. Every plan of hell. God will bring me out of that plan. Even when I don't know it, God will bring me out. God will snatch me out. God will deliver me. God will bring me out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Genesis 32, verse 11, let's go further. In Genesis 32, verse 11, Jacob prayed a prayer and said, Oh God, deliver me from the hand of my brother. Deliver me from the hand of my brother. You need deliverance. I'm not talking of your brother by blood. I'm, let me get this uh, properly. Yes. Not deliver you from the hand of your family. Maybe. But we're talking of deliverance from those who are close to you. Enemies within. On your job, the enemies within. In your business, the enemies within. In your place of work, the enemies within. Opposite your store, the enemies around. When you're sleeping, the enemies that are at work that you don't even know about. The worst enemy, Jesus said, the man's enemies are members of his own household. The eternal enemies. Somebody called them frenemies. Friend, friendly enemies. Called them frenemies. Today, God will deliver you. 
Today, God will deliver you. Say it in the name of Jesus. Father God, throughout this year, deliver me from the enemy within. Deliver me from the enemy within. Deliver me, O oh God, from the enemy within. Deliver me from the wicked plans of the enemy within. In the name of Jesus. I have a testimony for you. And to the glory of God, yesterday we were praying for healing. And the Lord said, tell them, somebody watching, that God is going to heal your father and set him free from the hospital. I got a message on Facebook, or my inbox, this morning. It came yesterday, Friday. I got it this morning when I was getting ready to come on the set. And the person said, Pastor, you prayed for the healing of somebody's father yesterday morning, Friday morning. I have a testimony. My father was in the hospital. He's totally healed and he's home. Glory be to God. I said, glory be to God. I expected somebody to give the Lord a big hand clap of praise for that. I, yesterday I was talking. I said, there's a woman. You're going to have a baby. He shall be called David. A lady over there in Europe received it. She, she was rolling on the floor, screaming and shouting and saying, thank God. He has finally heard me. All the way in America, God spoke to somebody who was willing to hear and proclaim it, that my baby has been delivered to me. She had fibroid surgery and waiting. And God spoke. And God spoke it. And over there in Europe, somebody was rolling and screaming. Glory be to God. Let's say that seven times. Glory be to God. One, two, glory be to God. Three, glory be to God. Four, glory be to God. Five, glory be to God. Six, glory be to God. Seven, glory be to God. Don't get tired of praising him. God is good. God is merciful. There's no distance in prayer. Thank God for obedience. Thank God for Periscope. Thank God for Facebook. Thank God for all the social media. Glory be to God. Yes. Somebody give God some love, some heart, some stars, some thumbs up. Glory be to God forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In 1 Samuel 17, 37, I'm laying the foundation. 1 Samuel 17, 37. 1 Samuel 17, 37. David boasted. Glory be to God. David boasted and said to Goliath. He pointed his hand at Goliath. Glory, glory, glory. And said, God delivered me from the lion. God delivered me from the bear. And God will deliver me from the hand of this ugly Philistine. Because Goliath had been at work for 40 days, taunting God's people, mocking at them, laughing at them, snaring at them, challenging them, telling them to bring a champion so they could fight. Israel was just frozen in fear. They had nobody to bring. They had a king, King Saul, but they had nobody to fight him. If an enemy is taunting for 40 days and nights, and he's unopposed, unchallenged, that, that enemy knows that there's nobody, there's no opposition. But God raised a shepherd somewhere in Nazareth and sent him. Today, God has seen the taunting of that devil. That sickness, that childlessness, the taunting of that wicked condition in your body, the mockery of people on your job, in your family, those who are laughing and saying, you're over 30, no husband yet. Those who are saying, you're over 40, no baby yet. <laughs> I hear God laughing in heaven. 
God will deliver you from the hand of your mockers. In the name of Jesus. Lift your right hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver me from the hand of my mockers. Deliver me from the hand of those who are mocking at me. Deliver me by answering me. Deliver me by giving me my miracle. In the name of Jesus. What does it... Let me explain this to you. When David was saying, God delivered me from the paw, P-A-W, of the lion. What does that mean? When the lion wants to kill his victim, it first of all roars to frighten the victim. Listen to this. And when the victim or the enemy starts, you know, gets frightened and begins to run, first of all, when the lion wants to make some noise and scare, roar, he would face down, put his point, his face down, and roar to the earth, to the ground. And the ground will now bounce back and echo his voice and amplify it in the forest or in the wilderness, and all the animals will be frightened. And there's no specificity in terms of where it's coming from. So they get jittery, they get anxious. Every roar of the lion, that false noise, false news, false diagnosis, false report, frightening report, evil report, satanic sounds in the dream, frightening sounds that you hear. And you look around, you hear, you don't see, as the Lord God liveth, I command them to be silent in your life in the name of Jesus. That ugly voice of defeat, of fear, of failure, of destruction, you've been hearing. You will not hear them anymore from today for the rest of your life. If I'm speaking to you, say amen right now. Glory be to God. And so when the, the lion is running after his victim, the first thing it does is that when he gets close to the victim, it, it will slap the feet or the legs or the foot of his victim with his poor big, big hand, so to say. Big hand, and it will slap the foot or the legs of his victim, and his victim will fall. That is the paw of the lion. To slap the foot or the feet, or the leg, or the ankle, or the toes, the paw of the lion, and the victim will fall. Because the lion is heavy, he's a very lazy animal really, doesn't like running for long, and he has heavy uh, head and chest and big. God will deliver you from the paw of the lion. What is the paw of the lion? That attack that weakens before the main attack. That when the devil wants to, for example, uh, let me, he, he doesn't say, oh, I, I'm going to make sure you don't have children. No, 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 no. he's not going to do that. He's after the children, but he will first attack the organ where the children can be conceived. That is a power of a lion. If the enemy cannot stop somebody, what he will do is to send the wrong people into his life or her life. That is a paw of the lion. Wrong marriage. Wrong connection. Wrong revelation. He, remember what the Bible says, Zechariah, smite the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. So who is the devil after? He's after the sheep. He's after the shepherd because the shepherd is sheep too. But he doesn't come and just says, oh, I'm going to scatter you. No, 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 no. He first strikes with the paw of the lion. Glory be to God. What is the paw of the bear? The big bear 
What is the power of the bear? The bear is huge, can't run really. Again, the same method. He will strike the victim with what we call a bear slap. A huge bear slapping somebody. Can you imagine? To slap his victim, to dazzle them, daze them, make their head spin, then it will close in and destroy them. <coughs> Excuse me. Glory be to God. That is a bear, the paw, the big padded fat hand of the bear. And once, what is in life today, in Christian life, what is the power of the bear? That big attack that comes to weaken the victim, to weaken a person so that the person will be too weak to fight. You'll just be minding your business. The phone will ring. One bad news. You open up your mail. One bad news. That spoils the day, spoils the week, spoils the month, spoils the hour, messes up everything. He's not after just the hour. He's after a lifetime. The devil does not go after his victim for a moment. The devil goes after his victim for a lifetime. Today, right now, on this set, right now on Facebook, right now on Periscope, we're going to break it. Say, in the name of Jesus, every paw of the bear, Father, every paw of the bear, Father, every paw of the lion, Father, deliver me from them all in the name of Jesus. Say that again. Deliver me in Jesus' name. Say it again. Deliver me in Jesus' name. Amen. And David looked at Goliath and said, you're ugly like a lion. You're ugly like a bear. I will. God who delivered me from the lion that runs after to slap and kill. From the bear. Have you heard bear hug? What does a bear hug mean? He said, oh, give me a, oh, they squeeze you. Oh. He said, what is that? I said, that's a bear hug. I don't know if I'll let you give me a bear hug. <laughs> Why? That's how a bear kills. It'll hug to slap his victim and grab his victim and hold it in a hug and squeeze life. It will just... <clears throat> until life goes completely out of his victim then he will go to business and go to work to devour its enemies. David said, God who delivered me from the paw, the slap, the killing slap of the lion and the killing slap of the bear will deliver me from this giant called Goliath, threatening lost people, standing there over 13 feet tall. This is a teenager. <laughs> Glory be to God. God will deliver you from that squeeze, financial squeeze, marital squeeze, emotional squeeze. Mm, come on now. Squeeze of sickness. Whatever it is that is crushing, squeezing, pressing you, Pressing life out of you at the shout of your amen. I declare you free in the name of Jesus. Free in the name of Jesus. Free in the name. Come on. Free in the name of Jesus. Pastor, why are you shouting? For where there's a king, there's a shout. For where there's a king, there's a shout. For the shout of a king is in the midst of them. In Numbers, I believe, 23. By fire, Father, deliver me from every evil yoke in the name of Jesus. Can you make that your confession? Say that. Father, by fire, deliver me from every evil yoke in the name of Jesus. Deliver me 
from every evil yoke. Deliver me from myself. Come on, say that. In the name of Jesus. Father, deliver me from myself. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me from myself. Yes, deliver me from bad habits. Like what, Pastor? Procrastination. Double-mindedness. Indecision. Dragging your feet. Prayerlessness. Evil habits. Evil thinking. Defeated thinking. Well, I'm not going to apply for the job. I know they won't hire me. I know they won't hire me. I know I'm not good enough. I know, they, they, I know they're going to turn me down. Glory be to God. I need to, well, let me just go. I know they don't like me. Let me just go on a date. I know that I, he's not going to marry me. Let me just go and eat a meal and, and just, just have a good time. No. That stinking thinking ends today. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, in 2017, no stinking thinking. In my thinking, in the name of Jesus. No stinking thinking in my thinking. No more stinking thinking in my thinking, in the name of Jesus. I command it. No more filthy thinking in my thinking, in the name of Jesus. I appreciate all those who are spreading the word, sharing this video, sharing this time. Yes, Lord. Well, I, I don't know if, if, if I qualify for the loan, but let me just go, just for going sake. Really? That's, that's filthy thinking. Father, deliver me from myself in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver me from, oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Stop it! You will make it. Well, I don't know if my husband will give me that money. Honey, he will. Why? Command him. Demand for it. Cook him a nice meal. Play your part. And tell God to touch him. Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, Pastor, I know, but I don't know if... I, and I've heard people say that when I go to the hospital to pray for people. Well, Pastor, I don't know. I, I remember 1997, there was a young boy, and those watching in Connecticut, in the USA, will remember. A young boy, 17-year-old boy. I had uh, leukemia, cancer of the blood. A teenager. He was in the hospital, had been in the hospital for six months. And they told me about him. And I said, they said, Pastor, would you like to come? I said, sure, I would love to go pray with him. Let's, let's go. And they drove me to the hospital, I believe in a city called New Britain, Connecticut. Those who live there know. When we got there, we saw this young boy, cancer of the blood, leukemia. I said, is this the boy? I said, yes. I said, let's pray. We prayed a simple prayer, handed the case to God. You're listening? And I said to him, in the next seven days, you're going to go home totally healed. And I'm speaking that, the word of the Lord to somebody. In the next seven days, you're going to be completely sickness free. Receive it. Somebody receive it. Somebody receive it. Somebody receive it. In the name of Jesus. The next day, we prayed with him, glory be to God, we left. The next day, the boy is up, completely healed of cancer of the blood. Come on, somebody on Facebook, give God some glory, give God some thumbs up. Don't sit there looking at me. Somebody on Periscope, give God some praise. Give God some thumbs up. Do something. Glory be to God. The next day, yeah, I see that. I see that. God bless those fingers. The next day they came, the boy was shot. For the first time in six months, he washed himself. 
Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He washed himself. He dressed himself up. He made his hospital bed by himself. And he was strolling around in the hospital. <whistles> strolling around, giving God praise. What happened to you when the doctors came? God bless you, Funcha Boston. He said, there was this man that came yesterday and prayed for me and told me I should go home, that God had healed me. They said, oh, this is uh, just the last thing he wants to do before he dies. Let's rush him. They rushed him into the, uh, the uh, place and checked his brain, checked his blood, checked his mind, checked all the checkables. No cancer, glory be to God. No cancer whatsoever. Leukemia, gone supernaturally by the divine hand of God that delivered him from death and sickness. Oh, I feel like preaching now. I speak it over you. Come on, receive it. God will deliver you from death. God will deliver you from accidents. God will deliver you from premature death. God will deliver you from bondage. God will deliver you from affliction. God will deliver you from the expectation of your enemies. God will deliver you from secret enemies. God will deliver you from affliction. God will deliver you from lack and poverty. God will deliver your pastor from every power of hell trying to stop that church. In Jesus' name. Lift your hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by fire, by fire, set me free on every side in the name of Jesus. Say that. Father, by fire, by fire, set me free on every side in the name of Jesus. Say that again. Father, by fire, by fire, set me free from ev on every side. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. God will deliver you. I wish I had time. God will deliver you from Pharaoh. God will deliver you from Pharaoh. Who is a Pharaoh? Pharaoh is a typology of the slave master. The power over bondage. God will deliver you from Pharaoh. God will deliver, deliver you from Herod. Who is a Herod? Herod is the one that sits on the throne and kills every potential king. On the job, there's a supervisor. There's a manager. <laughs> there's somebody who is sitting and is not letting anybody lift up their heads. When it's time to write a recommendation, your file is missing. When it's time to write for promotion, they write you up for punishment. When it's time, Kabora Ambra Ashto Fivre Gebla Ashto Suste Glenn Rubas, somebody, God is delivering your brother right now as we speak. God is setting your brother free from that hand of Pharaoh. Pharaoh is a killer of babies. When they told him that Jesus was born, the wise men told him he went after every baby two years down in Nazareth and killed all of them. Every Pharaoh that is out to kill your ministry, kill your business, kill your marriage, killer of the young, that power from the pit of hell, we curse it in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and say, in the name of Jesus, I command... Every Pharaoh, every Herod, after my children, after my destiny, after my life, after my prayer life, after, after my marriage, in the name of Jesus, I curse them. Say it, I curse them. Say it, I curse them. I say it, I curse them. In the name of Jesus. God will deliver you. From persecutors. Persecutors. In 2 Timothy, let's rush. 2 Timothy 4.18. 2 Timothy 4.18. God says, the Apostle Paul's writing, he said, 
I know that my God will deliver me from every evil work. Every evil work. Pastor, what does an evil work do? Every conspiracy, every gang up, every obia, witchcraft, juju, enchantment, divination, sorcery, hatred, resentment, jealousy, evil works. Evil works, folks. Every evil work. Others go with you. You go eat in a restaurant. Everybody goes home, goes home rejoicing. The next morning, everybody wakes up normal. You wake up with food poisoning from the same meal that everybody else had. Others go in to have their babies. Somebody goes in and comes out with no baby. I remember when my wife had our sons and the nurse, one of the nurses, was saying to us, are you a pastor? I said, yeah. You, you're the pastor? I said, yeah, yeah. Your wife is a pastor? I said, yeah. He said, you should go thank God and serve that God that you serve. We're, we're looking at her. She said, you don't know how many times women come into this hospital pregnant, accompanied by the husband, excited, expectant, a few days later, listen to this, the husband walks out of the hospital empty-handed. No wife, no baby. Both gone forever. She said, go and thank your God. God kept your wife, kept you, Give you two beautiful baby boys at the same time after 16 years of waiting? Go home and thank your God and serve this God that you're serving. We say thank you. <laughs> we say thank you. We're still praising God. We're still giving him glory. Glory be to God. Somebody praise God for Pastor Chuzi's testimony this morning. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many have been through where you've been through and been to where you've been to and they're still stranded? Come on, somebody on Periscope, give God some praise. Praise those hearts. Let them keep flowing. Thank you. God bless those fingers. Thank God for you. Rejoice for others so that others will rejoice for you. Rejoice with others so that others will rejoice with you. Glory be to God. Two boys at the same time. Glory be to God. Somebody on Periscope put a thumbs up, put a heart, put some fireworks all at the same time. I think they put a bottle of wine, uh, non-alcoholic wine now. Glory be to God. God will deliver you from shame. A reproach. There's somebody listening to me today. They've been laughing at you. You actually, God woke you up this Saturday morning to hear me. You didn't plan to be up. That's you. That's the one I'm talking to. God will deliver you from shame and reproach. They've laughed at you enough. Today it ends in the name of Jesus. Lift your right hand and say, In the name of Jesus. Throughout January, throughout 2017, for the rest of my life, God will deliver me from shame, deliver me from reproach, deliver me from embarrassment, de deliver me from any form of nakedness, deliver me from the laughter of my enemies. Yes, glory be to God. <laughs> you will marry, you will get married. Glory be to God. I said glory be to God. You will get married. You will have that baby. Come on, somebody receive it. There's somebody, you're 33. You will get married, the first pregnancy, two babies at the same time. Pastor, can I carry it? I'm available. <laughs> My wife is available. If the fee is right, glory be to God. Just teasing you. Father, deliver me. 
from shame. Come on, say that. Emilia, thank you for joining us in China. Emilia, is in, in, she's in business trip in China. God will bless you. Thank you for joining us all the way from China. God will deliver us. Come on, say that. In the name of Jesus, Father, deliver me. Deliver my business. Deliver my family. Deliver my church. Deliver my pastor. Deliver my ministry. Deliver me from shame and reproach. What is a reproach? That thing that has remained a stubborn problem. That you prayed and prayed and prayed. Oh God, don't let my enemy see my nakedness. They not only have seen their nakedness, they've heard your cry. God will turn that cry of pain and shame to shouts of joy in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Oh, in Psalm 69, verse 14. Psalm 69, verse 14. The psalmist prayed and said, Deliver me from the mire. Deliver me from the mire. Deliver me from the mire. The pit. Where I'm sinking. Deliver me from that place. The muddy place. Deliver me from the muddy place. The mire. Soft mud. Slowly, the person is sinking. Slowly, sinking. Sinking sand. Sinking mud. Slowly, the person is going down. As the Lord liveth, God will deliver you from the muddy place. You will not sink. Your business will not sink. Come on, Facebook, I want to see you receiving it. Your business will not sink. Your marriage will not sink. That next exam, you will take it and pass it. You will not sink. I said you will not sink. Facebook, I said you will not sink. You will not sink. You are not going down. Your money will not sink. It sank before. It will not sink again. Glory be to God. It will not sink. Come on, come on, somebody receive it on Periscope. It will not sink. Your church will not sink. Come on, Father, you receive it. Father, hear me. It will not sink. It will not sink. Margaret, receive it. It will not sink. Rosemary, receive it. It will not sink. Bolaji, receive it. It will not sink. Helen, receive it. It will not sink. You are not sinking. Funke, receive it. Johnson, receive it. Michael, receive it. Pastor, who are these? I'm just calling names. For sure, receive it. Glory be to God. Short caller, receive it. You will not sink. Your husband will not sink. Your children will not sink. Your boat will not sink. Your life will not sink. Your home will not sink. Your marriage will not sink. Your church will not sink. Your company will not sink. Your job will not sink. Your company will not sink. Your prayer life will not sink. Your marriage will not sink. Your joy will not sink. Your health will not sink. It will not go down in the name of Jesus. Never again. You will never be defeated again. Your children will not sink. Your grandchildren will not sink. The Lord is telling me to keep pronouncing it. That something is happening right now in the spirit realm. Come on, everybody, receive it. It will not sink. Let me start again. Your prayer life will not sink. God is sitting on these pronouncements. It will not sink. Your marriage will not sink. Your joy will not sink. Just say amen. Your marriage will not sink. Your family will not sink. Your church will not sink. Your pastor will not sink. Your child will not sink. Your daughter will not sink. That sickness... Oh, Kamora Bandi, God is healing every type of blood condition. Leukemia is being healed. Uh, SS, uh, all these, uh, for uh, any blood condition, high blood pressure, low blood pressure. God is healing it right now. Receive it. Menstrual cramps, menstrual overflow, menstrual no flow is being healed right now. Every blood condition is being healed right now. You will not sink. That bed will not sink. You will not sink to that sickness. You will not sink to that infirmity. You will not sink. Your prayer life will not sink. You will not sink into the hand of the enemy, said the Lord. Glory be to God. In whose name? 
Get ready to shout it seven times. In whose name? In the name of Jesus. One. Two. In the name of Jesus. Three. In the name of Jesus. Four. In the name of Jesus. Five. In the name of Jesus. Six. In the name of Jesus. Seven. Everybody get ready. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Lift your hands and give him praise. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. You're the mighty God, the great I am. Thank you for delivering us. And yet you don't still deliver us from the hand of the evil one. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We bless you. We appreciate you. By the blood of Jesus, we are delivered. We bless you. We thank you. We exalt you. We magnify you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. And people on Facebook, give the Lord a big hand clap of praise. People on Periscope, I'm not seeing the hearts again. Come on. Let's show God our appreciation. Come on, come on. I see those exploding on Facebook. Come on. Come on, Periscope. Let's give God praise. I know you're under the anointing. I know you're just in awe of how God knew what was going on and just spoke to you. Show him some praise. Show him some glory. Clap, shout, jump, rejoice, thumbs up, hearts, whatever you need to do for the next one minute. Let the world of Facebook, the world of uh, Periscope, Twitter, somebody get noisy, get loud, make some noise. Get, Come on, come on, come on. I see them doing that. God bless those hands. Come on, let it flow. Let it explode. Let God see us. Even a, come on now. Brenda, Icarombro, Ombro, Tisti, Kebri. Before we go, let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Robosh Kipra, Gabro, Dime, Robosh Kambro, Didi. Rambro, Do. Let's give thanks well in the Holy Ghost. Me Rambro, Cumbrede, Embrade, Estuso, Globro, Nime. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you've been blessed today, inbox me. Email me. My name is Pastor Chusey, a pastor of Glory House World Church, the plenty place in Atlanta. You can go online, pastor at pastor, pastor at glory to glory church. Pastor at past, pastor at glory to glory church. Glory to T-O, glory church. Email me. You can inbox me on Facebook. If you're not my friend, become my friend on Facebook. Uh, it's filling up. I mean, I'm getting lots and lots, and I'm glad for you. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for being my supporter. Thank you for praying for this program. Tomorrow at this time, we will be here again for Command Your Day, briefly on Sunday morning before we go to church. Some of you, you would have gone to church. Don't forget, go to church tomorrow. You've got to go to church. Not just go. Go with your money. Go with your praise. Go with your prayer. Go with your hands. Do something in God's house. Put something in your pastor's hand tomorrow. All over the world. In the name of Jesus. If you're not following me on Periscope, please sign up. I need you to sign up and follow so that you can get instant notification anytime something awesome is happening from this side to your side. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Keep the testimonies rolling. Keep the joy flowing. Declaring, God has delivered me. I am free. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Appreciate you. I'll be back in the evening, 6.30 p.m. New York time, 11.30 at night, London time, 12.30 at night, Nigerian time. 6.30 p.m. will be 6.30 a.m. the next day in Malaysia. So just check out, check the time. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Let me greet some of my friends. Uh, Joy, God bless you. Joyce, God bless you. Margaret, God bless you. Bolaji, God bless you. All of Glory House, lovely, wonderful people. God bless you. Lakeisha, have an enjoyable Saturday. Yes. Chubada one, God bless you, ma. God bless you, Nea. God bless you. 
Please inform your followers. Ishola 84. God bless you. Hallelujah. Happy birthday to the twins. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Rosemary, God bless you. God bless you for sharing. Julie Adi, God bless you. Praise 2G. Thank you so much. Jemmy, Jemmy, Amaye, God bless you. John, God bless you. Praise to G. Glory House, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Have a wonderful weekend. Go forth and shine. It's your time. It's your season. In Jesus' name. Thank you for uh, all of those who share. Thank you for bringing your followers and friends to be a part of this great time this morning. Hallelujah. Dami, God bless you. I'm waiting for others. God bless you. As we say our goodbyes, have a great, a great time in Jesus' name. Yes, amen. I received that from you. Uh, may God keep us strong. Never get tired. Mara, God bless you. Leeds, God bless you. Hallelujah. Helen, God bless you. God bless you. Short caller, God bless you. Patience Mama, God bless you. God bless you. Trevor 06, God bless you. Thank you, Julie Ade and all those who shared. Funke, God bless you. Rest 2017, God bless you. Glory be to God. Have a great day, Facebook.